Hey guys, Colorado Camper Man Brian here. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install these tank heater pads. So I'm gonna put, be installing these on our travel trailer here because I have an elk hunting trip coming up and the nighttime temps is gonna be in the 20s. And I'd also like to start doing some more winter camping. And with these tank heater pads, they say that you can actually go all the way down to zero degrees and they'll make sure that your tank stays at, I think it's between like 45 and 65 degrees um, uh, Fahrenheit. So what's cool about these is they actually have a built-in thermostat. So you can just directly wire them up to electricity and you don't have to put a switch and they'll just kick on whenever uh, it drops below that temperature. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually install a little switch so that I can control when I turn them on and when I don't. So I'll put Amazon links in the description where you can find these pads as well as all the materials and the tools needed for this project. All right guys, well here's all the tools that I used for this project. So obviously you're gonna need your tank pad heaters. You're gonna need some wire as well. One thing that's very important, you need to make sure that the wire you use has enough amperage or can hold up enough watts to however many tank heaters you're using. Um, I did have my switch, which you guys will see. Uh, it's a weatherproof switch. I bought that on Amazon, as well as my inline fuse, which is waterproof as well. I used a couple different wire nuts and then also some ring connectors too. And I'm grabbing this out of my pocket, <laughs> uh, but electrical tape. I used some motor oil, this little three in one oil. Uh, because I did have to drill into my frame and that's a little tip if you're ever drilling into metal use this and a good tip and uh, you'll go through metal very easy or easier at least use my impact driver with a socket extension and this was for the screws that I had I'm just kind of laying around here so um, I had a socket set up just for that use my drill uh, use several different drill bits here wire cutters, wire strippers, cutters, crimpers, uh, thread locker, Gorilla tape, uh, duct tape. If you guys are still using that, you got to switch over to Gorilla tape. Gorilla tape is amazing and it is weatherproof as well, which really helps out with this uh, job. Also some standard eye, ear, and hand uh, protection. I did use some scissors, utility knife, a fixed wrench, again, that was to the size screws that I was using, a Phillips head, and then a soldering gun and solder, and then zip ties. All right, so here we are underneath our camper now, and this is our black tank. And the first thing that we need to do is get this surface clean so that the pad has something to adhere to. So we're gonna use our rubbing alcohol here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is peel back this front here. And try to put this directly in the middle. There we go. We'll push it up against that. And as I'm pushing up against this, I'm pulling back the backing here. So I got this on the black tank is all installed now. I'm gonna do this on the gray and then show you guys what I'm gonna do with the wires. All right, so here is the tank heater on the gray tank. And then you can see it on the black tank there. All right, so since our two tanks are so close together, I'm just gonna put the wires, uh, feed them together. Now these are the two ground wires. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna cut and strip these to right here and then I'm just gonna screw them right into here. I will solder an end on where again, I can just put these two together and then I'll just screw it into the frame. That'll ground that out. For the positives, I'm gonna run them up. Uh, I'm gonna feed them uh, by where these other wires go in because there's this little rubber fitting around uh, the hole, but again, I'm going to put the two uh, positive wires together and then I'll put a wire nut with the wire that's going to run along to, to the battery. All 
All right, so there's the two negative wires. Just have those hooked up there. Go ahead and get those positive wires hooked up and we'll be good. All right, so here's what she looks like underneath. So we got both negatives that I uh, put together right here, grounded them out. I got the positive to the black tank running up here, positive to the gray tank. They're both meeting here, right here, and I zip tied the new tank wires to the old uh, wires that were here. And then this is my positive cable. I know it's white, but I'm just using what I have. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna run it now to where the freshwater tank is up there. All right, so here's all my wires zip tied up. I got my wire coming down. And then here is my freshwater tank right here. Now, as you can see, I have these metal bars running across, which give the tank support. And I'm able to put some rocks here to lift the tank up. So what I'm planning on doing is cutting this chloroplast and taking it off, putting the tank heater on, and then I'll tape the chloroplast back on here, and then I'll take the rocks off and hopefully be good. All right, so there she is all done. And I got my ground right here. Positive is coming up here. Should have made it a little bit longer, but whatever. It's up and out of the way enough for sure. Got some zip ties, my other wire going in. I just need to feed it through, put in my fuse and my switch, hook it to the battery and we're good. All right guys, well here is my switch, the back side of it. And uh, you can see the fuse is right there. That is a waterproof fuse. And then I zip tied everything right there. And then uh, I zip tied everything here. That's the wire that's gonna go. I'm just gonna put it directly on the battery. So I gave myself some extra cord because I'm going to eventually build a tray here for another huge 200 amp hour battery. All right, before we turn this on, we're gonna take a temperature reading of the tank. Oh, 42 degrees. This is the gray 37. And the black is 36.6. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. I got the little rubber boot on. I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch. And then we'll take a temperature reading here in just a couple minutes as I clean things up. So we're shooting here. 57, 58, 59. These things are definitely working. Whoo, that one's super hot right there. 80 degrees. Now let's do the black tank. 67, 68. I think there actually is some liquids in this tank. The tank I just shot before, I don't think there is anything. So that's probably why it's a little warmer. But they're definitely working. All right guys, well that does it here for this video. Overall, not too bad of an install. It did take me probably a good four to five hours to do this, but if you just have your tanks completely exposed like my uh, black and gray tank were, this is gonna be a lot easier for you for sure. Again, I'll put Amazon links in the description to where you can find the materials that I use for this project. And I do a lot of other DIY projects like this. So if you're new to the channel, uh, check out the playlist right now of some other videos like this. So otherwise, throw a like if you guys enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.